hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a creative youtuber that trying to do makeup videos and today i am going to do my second update on my so far no buy i am do doing a no buy slash low buy uh, this year I'm trying and uh, I do want to do updates and talk about maybe things that I have wanted to buy and feelings I have, thoughts I have and uh, just how it's going. I don't know if that's something you want to see but I feel like if you may be trying to do the same thing maybe this is nice to see someone talk about it. So I'm going to do that today and um, I'm going to do my makeup uh, during this and I'm going to use these two palettes. These two are from Switch Brands. This is the Infinity Glam by LH Cosmetics that looks like this. And then I have the Gal on Marsh from Gloss Gods that looks like this that has a lot of different shimmers, duochromes and the cool stuff and I'm going to do something red today because I just felt for it so I think I'm going to mainly focus on one of the shimmers in this one one of the shimmers, there's no mattes in this one uh, this red shimmer because it looks amazing so I really want to use that one and I think I might go in with this one as well I haven't decided yet we will see but I first will start with this one just to have something in my crease and I'm going to go in with this day so my so far no buy it's actually going really really good I haven't bought uh, any makeup or skincare this year and it has gone two months of this year tomorrow it's the last day of February and uh, yeah I am 100% confident that I will fix this the only things that I've bought this year is of course food I have paid my bills I have bought some clothes and one pair of shoes and uh, yeah I'm actually really really happy that it's going so great I know that one part of this success for me is that I have been working a lot so I haven't got the time to shop and uh, I've honest, honestly been too tired to online shopping I don't know if that is a good thing or not but I haven't like felt the urge to do it at all so I guess that that is really good for my no buy situation there has been things that I really have wanted to buy and I thought that I can talk about some things that I think I would have bought if I wasn't on this no buy. First off we can start with the new Kaleidos thing, their new collection. I talked about this in the last video that I put up that 11 hours after I did, I think it was my first update. I talked about like yeah it's going to be easy for me as long as Kaleidos or Nabla isn't coming out with something new. 11 hours after that video went live Kaleidos did sneak peek their new collection. And if I'm going to be honest I haven't watched any videos about it because I do not want to see. And I haven't been that, uh, like, really looking into the collection because I do not want to tempt myself. I still follow Kaleidos on 
Instagram so I get their I get it in the feed I still subscribing to their newsletter so I still get all the info about it but I haven't like been going into their website or their Instagram page to really look at the new things and I think that that has helped a lot but yeah Kaleidos is one of my absolute favorite brands like completion co completionist co complete the hoarder and collector in me is like okay I need to have all the things from Kaleidos but to be honest I do not and the eyeshadow palettes isn't something that I feel like I need in my collection. The blushes looks really really good but at the same time I have a lot of blushes. And it wasn't that long ago since I did a declutter on my blushes. And also the new lip clays. It is a red one in there that looks amazing, but at the same time, I do have enough of lipsticks in my collection, so I don't need that either. And also the lip clays, they aren't my favorite formula. I, I know that a lot of people really do like the lip clay formula from Kaleidos, but I, I did really love their old one. So the lip tonics was my absolute favorite. So now I'm going in with Asteroid from the Gallon Marsh and this looks really really cool and I'm always in the hunt for a good red shimmer. Kaleidos has one amazing red shimmer in the cyber bronze palette and the gloss gods they do ship worldwide but i think that the shipping is kind of expensive outside of sweden but yeah you know what that is the case for us in sweden when it comes to us so I think this is a really beautiful red shade and it's a little bit like it feels a little bit like coppery but just a little little hint and I actually think that I will leave it like this and not deepen down my outer corner and I will go in with this solar even though I know it's more pinkish in the inner part here and uh, because I do mix things that you shouldn't mix because that's just how I do my makeup. And okay, if we're going to talk about Nabla and their eyeshadow palette, I think I really, really would have bought it if it wasn't for my Nabla. I do like the front of it. The inside, I do like the colors, but like the layout of it. I do not like it but like yeah I know I have all palettes from Nabla except for one of the glitter quads and I know that I would love to have that palette in my collection and also just to have a complete Nabla collection but do I need it? No. I do not, but we will see. Maybe I have a weak moment and I will order it. Nobody knows. So do I have any tips on trying to succeed with a no buy? I don't actually know, but one thing, I think that different things work for different people. Maybe this wasn't the best choice, but I'm doing it. Um, but I think just 
don't look things up. Like, don't... If a brand that you really like or <laughs> using a palette, just try to not look at it. Maybe not watch videos about it. Don't search it up on Instagram. Not at first, at least. Maybe when the FOMO is starting to get a little bit under control, then you can go in and look at it and try to see if you can dupe it with something in your collection. But I think, like, just try to not care. I don't know if that is, like, a good tip, but I think that is the best, like, for me. I do not, right now, want to know how good the blushes are from Kaleidos. I don't want to know if the eyeshadow palettes are amazing. Because I just don't want to buy them. But if I hear a lot of people talk about them and talk about how amazing they are, maybe I buy them. I don't know. But for me, that is working. And also, if you're trying to have a low buy, just sleep on things. If you do really want it, just wait a couple of days and see if you still feel the same. Often, for me, it has been at least like, if I see something, I want it now. And I buy it now, and then I get it home, and then I maybe aren't that excited as I, that I was when I first bought it. So just sleep on it and see a couple of days after, does it really feel that amazing still? If it does, maybe it is for you. If it doesn't, that is good. Okay, I am going to try to not do this video super, super long. And I do not know what more to say. So I will fix my face off cam and maybe I come up with something. And also my voice is starting to... I'm so sick and tired of this, if I'm going to be honest. I just want my normal voice back. <coughs> And not this. I hate it. So yeah, I will fix my face off cam. Then I come back. And if I come up with something more that I want to say, I will say it then. This is my finished look for my wash line. I did use Snatch from NYX. And I did use a lipstick from LH Cosmetics. This is in Sherry. And yes. Do I love this red shimmer? I really really do and I think this other shimmer this more pinky shimmer actually did work really really good so yeah this is a makeup look with the infinity glam from LH cosmetics and gal on the moon from gloss gods and um, this is my second update of my so far no buy it's going good I hope it will continue like this and I did not come up with anything more to say than just try to not search for new makeup if you're trying to do a low buy. Uh, but also another palette that I didn't know about before that I really wanted was the Hela palette from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyqvist. So close to buying it and I do really want to support Angelica but I'm going to try to do this and the palette looks really really good and I did love the Giant Wolves and Anesta and Oda's Eye eyeshadow palette. It's an amazing palette and I really do want to buy this but I'm not going to. I am actually going to try to dupe that eyeshadow palette. The only thing is then, I think I just have to wait a little bit. I did dupe the Tropical Vibes from Ace Pate, but I did wait a really long time. Really long time. I waited a longer period of time before I started to look in how the palette actually looked because I didn't want to fall in love with the palette. 
And it is the same with this Odin's Iron and the Elgin Equus palette. I do not want to see videos on it. I do not want to watch too many swatch things on it right now because I do really, really want it. I'm going to dupe it. Um, when, I don't know, when I maybe doesn't feel that drawn to it anymore, don't know when that will be, but it's going to happen. And uh, yeah, I think that was all. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place, but that's just how it is right now. But I do really hope that you like this update and please let me know if there is something special you want me to talk about when it comes to this update or if I just should do it like this, like a little get ready with me and talk about some palettes that or things that I wanted to buy and that I thought I was going to buy if I wasn't on my low buy, no buy. That was all for this video. I hope that I will see you in the next one. So if you're not subscribing, please do. Now I said it. How can I miss my ending phrase? I don't know. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.